Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a very bright and colorful spring makeup look. I recently picked up new Wet n Wild eyeshadows. This is the limited edition spring 2015 and it's called Silver Lake if I'm not mistaken. It came with five new palettes and it comes in this palette of six eyeshadows. I have only three of them and they also came with limited edition nail polishes and they came in a total of six colors i only picked up these two because they're definitely my up my alley when it comes to colorful nail polishes now i know this could be a little bit too intimidating for you guys for those of you that are not really comfortable with color i love color <laughs> and i don't know if you can hear me by the way but i'm sick i've been like this for the last two days and i really try to push myself to do this for you guys because I didn't want to like skip one week and be like okay where is she seriously so if my boy sounds a little bit like nasally please forgive me <laughs> the one that I'm gonna be focusing is this one right here this one is called California roll they have gorgeous gorgeous colors as you guys can see I love the fact that I think only this one if I'm not mistaken okay no this one too but there's another one that it doesn't have matte eyeshadows and these two are phenomenal for transition colors and for the outer view if you want to deepen it a little bit more oh my goodness gracious I want to give a little quick review this one right here the color payoff is not the greatest has some glitter chunks. I try to put this on my eyelid, so maybe that's why it's not as bold and bright. Uh, if I get a close up, you could probably could tell there's like teeny little glitter, you know, specks going on there. But other than that, all of them are beautiful. I think I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on these other two. If you guys want me to do it, please make sure you give it a thumbs up so I know that you guys want to see tutorials. So without further ado, if you guys want to see how I came up with this look, then just keep on watching. So as you guys can see, I already did one of my eyes as usual and I already primed my eyes with this NYX eyeshadow base. I will leave all the products that I mentioned on this video down below as usual. I'm sorry if I have a cough drop as like you guys like my boys and I just sound like really sick. Now moving on to eyeshadows, we're gonna start first with, and I'm glad this palette does come with two matte eyeshadows which is good. So we're gonna start first with this. This is almost like an earthy peachy matte eyeshadow. I'm gonna be applying this transition color first and this is going to be obviously the lightest shade we're just gonna apply this you know in a windshield wiper motion just try to like flick it a little bit in the outer V next we're gonna move on to this darker matte eyeshadow it is like a reddish orange like dark brick red tone now we're gonna make sure that we apply this right on the outer V and I'm gonna do this like little C outer V then I'm gonna start buffing it in and I'm only gonna bring it like I want to say almost halfway I don't want to bring it too too much I'm going back with a clean fluffy blending brush and just make sure that we have actually that we don't have you know any harsh lines but as usual you know you guys know that when you do that you tend to lose the pigmentation and you just have to go back again now for the lid I'm going to be using this glittery um, shimmery champagne color now I like to apply this with my fingers I try doing it with my brush but I don't know if I'm using the wrong brush I feel like sometimes it's good to work with your fingers as long as they're clean you know see the thing about it is that you can see that it's pigmented on my finger but when you apply it on the lid it kind of I feel like I'm putting like little chunks of glitter I get a better pale with my finger like I said then with my brush I want to go back again with the same brush that I use on my outer V and I just want to make sure that we don't have any harsh lines right in between the lid color and the outer V or the outer crease or whatever you want to call it now moving on to the brow bone area I'm gonna be using this shade that's almost like a light gold eyeshadow now I love using my NYC liquid eyeliner if you want to make this a little bit more dramatic by all means you can do it I'm going to try to really not do it because I really want the eyeshadows and these beautiful colors to really really pop so I'm just gonna like make a very thin line 
For lashes, we're gonna make sure that we apply some mascara. This one is my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. And I recently got these Ardell Demi Wispies. Okay, now I'm back with my full face. I did my foundation, obviously my concealer, and I wanted to warm up uh, and bronze my face a little bit. Moving on to the lower lash line. I wanna use first the darkest green shadow out of the two green. This is a beautiful aqua green color. It's so beautiful. And you can see, oh my gosh. These babies, you cannot mess around with these. Now, I'm gonna bring it almost to the inner corner of my eye, but I wanna leave a little bit of space right there because I wanna make sure that I use pretty much the entire palette. So I will be using this, it's almost like a lime color green. And I'm gonna pop this almost like right into my inner corner. And I wanna make sure that I blend it with the other color since we are focusing on the inner corner of my eye we're just gonna make sure that we also highlight it I'm gonna be using the same eyeshadow that I use on my brow bone I'm going to apply this right on top of that green eyeshadow and it's gonna turn into obviously a lighter green look at that it's beautiful and while we add it we're gonna connect this with our lid and last but not least, I will be using this Milani Shadow Eyes, and this is in the shade Green Safari. I'm going to apply this on my waterline, because I really want, obviously, the lower lash line to stand out. Now you can go ahead and apply mascara on your lower lash line, if you like. I do, because, I don't know, I just want everything... To be a little bit dramatic <laughs> I think I'm gonna go for this um, I was between the elf um, studio line or the NYX but I like I think this one because it's more like a warm peachy blush if you went a little bit overboard like I did with my blush you can either go back with a powder foundation or you can go back with the same brush that I use for my foundation and you can just try to obviously minimize what you did and maybe just blend it out i'm trying to use as many drugstore products as i can for this you can certainly use for highlights this eyeshadow right here that i use on my brow bone or if you like you can use the bond the mary luminizer it's still a drugstore product because i saw this on dorian Raid when i went to new york city and i'm like okay i can use this i'm actually gonna use both of them just in case see i mean obviously this is going to win and take over Now I'm going to use the other side of the fan brush. This picked up a lot. Oh yes. Okay. Actually, they almost look the same. You can't really tell. Am I glowing? I always ask that question. Which I think I am. I mean, I can, I'm looking at my mirror and it's really not that much of a difference, so... Okay, now for my lips, I skipped it because I wasn't sure I was going to do two versions. I was going to do one. I chose a peachy lips using a combination of these three right here, which was my NYX Butter Gloss. And this is the 24 Gold Carrot Wet n Wild Lipstick and a Lip Liner by NYX. Now, this combination <laughs> is a combination of everything because I really wanted to keep the lips matte but then I was like I want lip gloss I can't help it so for lip liner I use this LA girl endless semi-permanent auto liner and I use this wet and wild 966 don't blink pink yeah and for lip gloss I couldn't decide because I felt like it was gonna be too bright so I first topped it with my LA girl lip paint glaze and then I was like oh my god this is too bright <laughs> They are so pigmented by the way. And then I decided to kind of like make it a little bit lighter by using this NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Peaches and Cream. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like and enjoy this tutorial. Please give me a thumbs up if you're a Wet n Wild fan and you are loving this new palace at a limited edition. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel in case you didn't. Thank you guys so much for watching and until the next time, I'll see you on the next video. Mwah. Besitos. Bye. One, two, three. Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be a very colorful, 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 colorful. Ah!
colorful. Okay, English is my second language and I cannot speak for my life. Seriously, I mean. Okay, here we go again. And for lashes, we're gonna make sure that we apply. <sighs> or if not, you can use your the balm, the maroon. <laughs> Oh my god, yes, I didn't forget how to say bye. Oh my god. It's because I'm recording so early today. Because I think it's like 7 o'clock right now. Woo! Yeah. I think the sugar kicked in. I don't know. A little cough drops. I was like, I feel like I'm so thirsty right now. I didn't know how I was going to do talking to one all that intro and the outro. Oh my gosh. I was just like, I'm going to have something to drink or something. I need to have one of these. Mm -hmm. I got a dance me or anything like that. You guys, today is like such a beautiful day. It's like 50 degrees here in North Jersey. I am sick. Out of all the season, I am sick. I'm here in the basement with the heater on. And trying to pretend that it's like 80 degrees here <laughs> with a sleeveless t-shirt. I mean... So I can just really get into the mood of being on spring. Almost summer with those colors, but you know. Ugh, I love colors. I love me some colors. So happy guys 